previously I was able to demonstrate a simple redox reaction using a brass rifle round. Redox is short for oxidation reduction reaction. Oxidation refers to the loss of electrons while reduction refers to the gain of electrons. You'll normally see this reaction done using a piece of copper wire or pennies or in the case of our rifle round brass. So what will happen if we use something with out any copper at all in it, such as this bismuth metal. We'll put a chunk of it in our James Bond style glassware. Next we'll add some silver nitrate to the point where the bismuth is completely submerged. Silver nitrate is made by dissolving pure silver in nitric acid. Hiding inside that fluid are billions of positively charged silver ions. And because they are charged, they are attracted to the bismuth, which actually has a neutral charge or no charge at all. You'll notice a white precipitation forming on the upper left of the screen. I cleaned the glass using tap water, then I wiped it dry. However, I must have left a minute drop of the water on the rim of the glass. In the presence of silver nitrate, chlorine turns white just like that. Neither oxidation nor reduction can take place without the other. The silver nitrate is losing electrons, or in other words, oxidizing. And as counterintuitive as it sounds, the bismuth metal is reducing or gaining electrons. Now what we end up collected on the surface of the bismuth is pure silver metal. There's not a lot of it, it looks like a lot, but it's actually a minute quantity. Naturally there's a limited amount of silver in solution and you reach a point where it's completely depleted out of the silver nitrate. We'll now remove the depleted silver nitrate solution and the result looks kind of like a wet dog. <laughs> After washing the silver crystals off the bismuth, this is what we ended up with. Chances are this is the first time you've ever seen a redox reaction using silver nitrate and bismuth. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.